Hi, so this is my video about some of the hardest cards to read. And this is about the court cards and the aces. So the court cards can be very challenging for a lot of people. I know they were for me for many readings before I finally, finally got a hold of what to do with these court cards. Because um, there's a very old school way of learning the court cards and then there's sort of the newer way. And I do much prefer the newer way. But first I'm going to talk about the aces. Because I've included the aces in the court cards because the aces, although they do start every deck, they're always the first card in, I mean, in every suit. So the wands, the cups, the pentacles, and uh, the swords, they start every suit. But as you know, in playing cards, which comes from tarot, aces have that ability to be at the front or the back they can be high or low wherever they want to go so aces are very special in that they are doorway cards there are new gifts new blessings coming into your life so they're always very exciting when they come into a reading because it means something new is happening something exciting some kind of gift is coming in or some kind of blessing that sort of thing what aces really are like most decks these are actually fairly good pictures of swords and, and whatnot that you could maybe play off of or, or read off of. But I find most decks, it's like, it's here's a sword and that's it. And here's a cup and that's it. And it's hard to read those, like, what does it mean beyond there's a new opportunity coming if, as far as that suit is concerned. So what I find is aces bring awareness. Okay, so aces and awareness. Think AA kind of thing. So they bring awareness. So when it shows up in a reading, it means that the, the client needs to pay attention because there's signs, opportunities being presented that they're not seeing maybe. So maybe a door is open for them and they've walked by. Maybe there's an opportunity coming up and they cannot miss this opportunity. Um, that sort of thing. Or, you know, things are going to get harder because of it and they'll have to take the scenic route in life and, you know, why waste that time if you don't have to? Um, and like I always say, you know, like our angels are constantly sending us signs and we're not as sharp as we think we are. Um, you know, for every sign when we see it and we think we're so clever, oh, look, I noticed that sign. I must be in the right place. I know where I'm going. Well, the, your angels already sent you 99 other signs that you missed. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. We're not always the sharpest tool in the shed. Um, <laughs> So when an ace shows up in a reading, it means pay attention, be aware, look for those signs. You can even ask for signs. You know, you can ask for specific signs um, if you want to make sure you're not going to miss it kind of thing. But for the most part, bringing awareness to it, knowing that there's an opportunity, uh, you know, you'll be looking for those opportunities. You'll be looking for those signs, looking for those doorways that are open kind of thing. Um, and you're, you're going to be more willing to kind of say yes, because you know that this is a yes environment now that the aces showed up. The other great thing about aces is that they are what I call gift cards. So say this ace of wands shows up in a reading. So something related to say, let's say career, because wands are often about career. So something about your career is opening up. There's a new opportunity. There's, you know, a gift that's coming. And then you can draw another card. So you get to draw another card to go with the ace and see what your gift is that's coming with this ace, what your blessing is. So let's say it's um, uh, a cup that shows up, a, a, a something from the suit of cups. Doesn't matter what number. Um, but let's say it go, goes along with this ace of wands. So it might mean something like, um, because cups are about emotions and connections and relationships, it could be it's not what you know, it's who you know that is going to give you that opportunity to move forward as far as your career goes. Uh, if it's a, a, something from the suit of um, swords, it could be, you know, you're saying the right things, your communication skills are really sharp and you're saying those right things in that right moment and the higher ups are are hearing you and noticing you and going, this girl needs to be on, on some kind of decision board to help us make some big company decisions and needs a corner office and a big, you know, car allowance and <laughs> that sort of thing. So, you know, that's what aces bring. They bring those gifts and it's always exciting to see what the gift is that's coming and to know that there's that awareness now for your client 
because it showed up on on for a reason it showed up on purpose to let your client know or let yourself know kind of thing that you need to be aware of these opportunities coming your way because it's amazing how many opportunities we miss so then we're going into the court cards now so we've got the the pages so the pages are the first um court card there so i'm going to go through the old school way of doing things um, really quick just to so you can recognize it so a lot of times old school reading and it still applies to a certain extent but I find more often than not it doesn't because I tried to do the old school way when I was first reading probably for the first couple of years and I kept getting frustrated because I could tell you know no this doesn't fit the clients like I don't know you know it doesn't seem to fit blah blah, blah. so what this the old school way was to to say that, well, there's a young person that's going to have some influence in your life. They're, you know, teenage, early 20s kind of idea of age. They're youthful. It could be a, a young boy. More often than not, pages were boys. But in, in tarot, I find gender is fluid. Um, and it was gender fluid before gender fluid was a thing. Um, so the pages... Um, are kind of androgynous so they can be a boy or a girl but they're usually a young boy or girl that's coming in to have some influence to you know change your life or whatever mm. have issues with that right and then the king's like an old man with lots of money is coming into your life and he's going to make it so your career blooms or whatever right and and you know oh a woman with uh let's change the queen here a uh, woman with a tender heart, because she's all about emotions, and, and it can really tap into your feelings, is going to enter your life, and you're going to fall in love, and la 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 la, right? No, not so much. I find that, that doesn't fit. What does, or what can fit, is if it is a person that this that the tarot is speaking of, normally, intuitively, you'll pick up on whether it is an actual person, or maybe your reader is in this energy, right? So, like I said, tarot is gender fluid. So even if a knight shows up, because often people think of men as knights, that doesn't mean a woman can't be a knight. A knight is a guy on a horse who's in charge, who charges forward. He's, you know, got uh, sort of that balls to the wall kind of attitude. Um, in life, he's willing to take risks, that sort of thing. That's the energy that's maybe around a person that they're wanting to find out more about because maybe they've had a, an issue with this person or a relationship somehow with this person or maybe it's them that's in that energy. Same thing with the queen. Queen is all about authority but in a very subtle way, um, a very um, feminine way and a feminine strength about them, that sort of thing. But a man can have a queenly energy just as a woman can have a kingly energy. So it goes back and forth. So that's sort of the old school way. And like I said, it doesn't mean it doesn't apply. It's just I find what happens with these cards is the action is more what the, is playing to. So pages were the messengers of the court. They're the young people that would run messages back and forth between the, the ladies and the lords and the kings and the queens and the dukes and the duchess and, and all those guys, right? So pages, when I figured out this system, I was like, oh God, yeah, this is great. Now I know what to do with these cards and it's not just a guy sitting on a chair with a gold coin. Um, and in, in a lot of other decks, they're not even as innately drawn as the Rider Waite Smith ones are. Um, and as much as I love the other decks, I do, I don't really use the Rider Waite Smith a lot as a working deck, but it is a good deck to study. It's a good deck to know because all other um, decks are based off of this deck right here. When you know this deck, you know every other deck and you can apply it to every other deck because first and foremost, tarot is a language. As much as people say, I read intuitively and I'm empathic, I'm an empath as well. You can't just sit down and read tarot intuitively. You can, but you won't have the foundation behind you to really know what this card actually means, unless you've learned 
the language of tarot. You got to learn the language. And like I said, say to all my students, I will show you the rules of tarot, meaning the meanings of each card. Break them accordingly after you know the rules. You can't just go out and break the rules. You got to know them first. And then, you know, bend a few, break some. It's all good. That's when intuition can play in. And that's when you're knowing whether it's your intuition or whether it's like, this is the meaning of this card kind of thing. So your intuition gets deeper with your readings when you know what the actual language of the tarot is. And tarot is a very symbolic language. It's a language of symbols, not so much like, it's not like French, but um, it's not like you can't speak French intuitively. You have to learn how to speak French. Tarot is the same way. And then once you understand and can command a few um, important sentences in French, you can start to discern which ones, you know, oh, this is probably meaning that or that's meaning this, right? And you can grow your language that way. So that's why your intuition gets deeper and more um, effective and more precise when you know what the language of the tarot cards is. So that's why it's very good to get trained on tarot and not just to sit down and read it intuitively. So carrying on, <laughs> the pages bring messages. So much like the aces, so there's a page of swords here. So there's a message regarding your communication. And then we draw another card and we see what needs to happen. Why, why is it talking about your communication? And this is the next card. And maybe it's a wand card that shows up. So your communication, as far as work goes, needs to change. Or if it's regarding your health, then it's your communication with your doctor needs to improve or change or you need to tell them this or tell her that or whatever. If it's a cup card that comes with a page of swords, then perhaps it's, you know, in this relationship, you need to change the way you're speaking to this person because it's not effective. They're not hearing you or you need to um, look at it from their point of view or you need to, um, you know, walk away. Who knows, right? So it, it it sort of depends on what goes with it, but pages always bring messages. Um, they can be great messages. They can be messages of warning. You know, yeah, if you keep doing this, you're going to lose your job, that sort of thing, right? So they're good cards to have because they always bring nice little messages, just nice remi reminders, right? Then we've got our knights. So our knights are about movement forward. Like I said, they're sort of the risk takers. They want to take that risk. However, they are talking about it. They're not, they haven't yet, you know, well, this guy's moving, but most of the time it's people that are still standing there. It's a guy and a horse, right? So that's why they're hard to read, guy and a horse. But they're, mo they're about movement forward, but they're about the planning stages of moving forward. They're actually talking about it now and getting serious and they're willing to take the risk, right? So, this is when this card when these cards show up it usually means that there's some kind of plan that you need to kind of get in to your head and you can draw another card if you want for the the knights as well just to see what's the action plan where do i need to focus right um so if it's a page or a knight of pentacles i mean so that's about money right pentacles are often about money and then a wand shows up Okay, so we need to make a plan as far as our career goes. You know, if you're a student, what's your schooling plan? If you're an entrepreneur, what's your marketing plan? If you're in a career that you can, you know, move up the ladder a little bit, what's your next step to make that next um, level up the ladder kind of thing? So that that's what uh, the knights bring. They bring that movement forward. But again, they're in the planning stages. So it's always good to draw another card with the knights just to see where you might need to focus your energy to um, make that plan to improve yourself so that you're ready for when you do move up because along comes a queen. And queens I love. Queens are very important to pay attention to in a tarot reading. When a queen shows up, you don't need to draw an extra card for a queen because a queen, she's in command. She's the queen of wands here, right? Um, we've got the queen of cups, the queen of pentacles, and the queen of swords. So when queens show up, it means, and I call them the get her done girls because 
she's bookended by two men that talk a lot. So she's bookended by the knight here who talks about moving forward and the great plans that are going to happen and the great glories they're going to get. And then she's got the king behind her here who talks about how great it was the things he did and the great glories that he participated in. This is the woman who gets it done. She's like, okay, I'm going to take your plan and I'm going to make it happen now. So when a queen shows up in a tarot reading, it means action needs to happen now with this suit, whatever she's the queen of. And queens are subtle. They are not charging in rambunctiously like a knight. And they are not tooting off like a king. They quietly go about what they need to do. They don't yell and talk and bellow from the rooftops what they're doing. They just do it because that's who they are. They're classy ladies and they're queens and they have their queendom and they are in full authority of their queendom. And when the queen of swords shows up, it means you need to do something now about the way you are thinking, the way you are speaking. You need to change your attitude, maybe, you know, that sort of thing. Because the way you speak often portrays how you're, you know, when a teenager gives you tood, it's usually with a, huh, 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 you know, out the side of the mouth kind of comments um, that are a little bit backhanded sometimes. So, you know, that's what I mean when I say change your attitude, right? Um, and that's what the Queen of Swords are all about. And the Queen of um, Pentacles, she's all about, you know, you need to take a look at your money right now. Like right now. You, maybe it's something you're avoiding. Maybe there's a credit card bill that's out of control. You got to take care of that right now. Action needs to happen now when a queen shows up. And whatever the now, whatever action needs to happen is regarded in that pen, in that suit. So if it's pentacles and we're usually talking money, if it's cups, then we're talking relationships, emotions. Like you need to get your emotions under check. You need to, you know, get your anger under control or you need to get that relationship fixed. Now, whether it's an argument with a sibling, a mother, a father, a spouse, whatever it might be, that needs to change. Um, wands, if wands show up, it means something needs to happen at work right now and you need to change your attitude towards your boss or you need to change your attitude towards a coworker. You need to learn to get along, to go along, you know, or you need to change, you know, maybe you've been lazy at work. You need to change that. That needs to, you know, get out of there and you can't be a lazy worker anymore. You got to pay attention to the details and be a conscientious, reliable worker. If it's to do with health, because wands can uh, cover health as well, it means you need to change what you're doing right now. You're eating too many donuts and you need to start eating more salads, <laughs> you know, whatever it might be, right? Um, and then we talked about the queen of swords. So that's what queens are all about. They are the action girls. And when they show up in a reading, it means action needs to happen regarding whatever suit they cover now. And it's often interesting to see what comes before and after a queen because she tends to influence the cards. More often she'll influence the card that comes after, but sometimes she can also influence a little bit of the card before. Because um, the queens, much like chess, can move wherever the hell they want to and do whatever move they want. Um, so the, the, the horses in chess are a little tricky. That's the only move the queen can't do. But they um, are good at making those surprise moves and planning those plans, right? But the queen, she can move wherever she wants and she's got power. So, and she's all about action that needs to happen right now in your life. So then we've got the kings, the mighty kings. So we've got the queen, the queen, we talked about her, and the kings are very much in charge of their suit. They're one of two things, generally speaking. They're either the master of that suit, right? So, because they didn't become the king of pentacles, for instance, by, you know, being bad with money kind of thing, right? So they're the, either the master of the suit or there's a refocusing that needs to happen. That's what these cards mean when they show up in a reading. Often it's a refocusing, but sometimes that it's a mastery of. Meaning, so when, like, okay, so you tell someone they're the master of money? No, 
<laughs> sometimes, I mean, you can tell them that if you want, but sometimes it means that you're, this is a good strength of yours that maybe they've forgotten about, right? So, you know, like if the King of Swords shows up, and let's say it's a relationship kind of reading and the woman's worried because her and her husband have been fighting a lot. This shows up and I say, remember, you're very good at communicating. It's actually one of your strengths. And you need to open up the channels of communication and you know how to get your husband to sit down and have a serious talk without going, oh my God, she wants to talk again, you know, kind of thing. So remember that. So sometimes there, it's a reminder of where your strengths lie and that you are capable of doing this. This is what I'm telling my client, right? So sometimes we need those reminders that, no, you're really good at what you do at work right? Because wands often cover uh, work or career, that sort of thing. You're really good at what you do because maybe they're having a moment of doubt, you know, and say, I don't know. I feel like I'm a fake. I feel like I'm going to be found out as a fraudulent, whatever, you know, creator or, you know, whatever it is they do as their career kind of thing. Or, you know, no one likes me. No one's buying from me. You know, I can't get the traction that I want, that sort of thing. Sometimes it shows up as a reminder. You're good at what you do. So keep doing it. You will be found, right? Uh, more often, it's shown as a refocusing, that you need to refocus your, your attention here. You've been scattered or, um, you know, not clear on what you want to go, where you want to go, what your direction is. You've been kind of flaky and flighty. You've been here, there and all over the place. You know, the focus is gone from your life. So you need to refocus on your money, for instance, or you need to refocus on how you're communicating. Um, you know, like say there's a lot of wands and we've been talking about career the whole time and this guy shows up. What's your marketing message? Are you concise in what you're trying to say are you hitting your target market that sort of thing because i also do business um tarot readings, so a lot of mine become business tarot readings but that when this guy shows up it's like let's let's see what you've been doing as far as how you're speaking what are you saying to clients you know what is your staff saying to clients um, how are you marketing yourself? All forms of communication come into play as far as, you know, where the refocus might need to go. And you can also like kind of look at the cards before and after the king to see they might give a hint as to where that focus needs to go. Because maybe it's just that, well, you know, your storefront isn't very pretty. So that needs to be changed because people think you're closed all the time because it's so dark and dismal there or whatever. Um, so that's what the kings mean. They're often a refocusing on whatever suit they are king of, or they're a reminder of the strength that you have within that suit um, because they're the, either the masters of or need to refocus. So that's the court cards and the special cards of the aces. Um, I'm going to continue on with some more um, going into each suit. So I believe I'm going to have the suit of wands up there very soon and then I'll have the other suits following that as well. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> like this video, please. Um, and when you subscribe, you get notices of when I put new videos up so you'll know when the swords and the chalices and, and the pentacles go up and that sort of thing. And please feel free to share my videos if you want to share it with a friend. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.